Hello again everybody, this is Frostblight and this is my fourth Pandemus tutorial video. Now in the last one we talked about the skills and I'll post a link up where you can go to the video and check that out. Now today we're going to find out about the attack panel and all the skills that go into it. So first when you get on here um, you can't really access your skills or uh, your special moves until later. I think it's level I want to say five or ten, either or. Um, you'll be in town center, and then you want to go up to the city center, and then you'll find the library and the academy. The library holds the masteries of uh, the magic, which is fire, frost, holy, and dark, and then there is the academy, which has the masteries of uh, swordsmanship, macemanship, and or mace fighting and close combat. First, we'll talk about the academy. So you have train, and then there's disciplines. Now training, you can train certain skills, like for instance you'll be like, eh, I'm too lazy, so I'm going to go for fury control, and I'm going to train it up to 10 points, and then you pay the guy to train it for you. Um, I think you can get those up to 20, um, and then with gems, which you have to purchase in game uh, with real money, um, you can actually increase it to 40. Then there's also disciplines. Now these are your special moves regarding what class you're gonna be playing as. Uh, we'll start off with swordsmanship. Now <clears throat> you start off with rank ones, and then every rank up, you have to have um, a uh, uh, ten more points in that mastery. So for instance, I have. Uh, let's do this real quick. I have 62 frost dominance. That means I can have up to rank 6 in a special move regarding frost. So in order for me to get slash rank uh, 1, I need to have swordsmanship at level 10. And I do not have level 10 swordsmanship. But that's okay, because I'm not a swordsman. Anyways, these are the special moves, and then they, uh, they vary in their turns. So... I'll show you in the combat in a second, but with Slash, you see that um, in the middle it says recharge time, zero turns. That means you can use Slash over and over and over and over again in the attack panel. So in the attack panel, up here, you have all your skills and all your special moves that you can use. And then you can change, uh, you can change them up for a little bit. So here, I'll create a new one. Um, uh, tutorial except so you see I have a blank attack sequence and a blank event sequence now with the attack sequence it see so um, it goes in order from left to right for one turn two turn three turn four turn and so forth in normal combat there's 15 turns when you're fighting an elite boss there's 30 turns so we'll just uh, and like if you only have three in your attack sequence and it goes turn one, turn two, turn three, and then there's nothing in turn four. It'll restart it to turn one. So it'd start off with um, chill, because as a frost mage, you want chill to be your first thing. Because what it does is it puts an effect on the enemy, and you have a lot, a lot of your special moves need chill in order to make it more effective. For instance, frostball. It attacks with 120% of attack damage against an enemy that's chilled. If an enemy is not chilled, it's probably not going to do as well. So you're going to want to bring that down here, and you already have turn one. I like doing Frostball. Actually, I like doing Frozen Hit, because then what happens is, if the enemy is chilled, it's a 50% chance that it's going to stun the enemy, which is pretty awesome. And then I'll smash him with a Frostball. And let's get a f Ice Spear. And let's see, I can only use this every three turns. One, two... Three, I think I can use that, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'll just throw in a basic attack, and then with the event sequence, this is pretty cool. So let's say, for instance, um, I get critically hit. I can, if I get critically hit in battle, this move, my frost barrier, will spark up immediately. So let's say I go to turn one, turn two, and then I get critically hit. It will ignore Frostball as being the third attack to go third 
on the third turn, and it'll put Frost Barrier up in, uh, before Frost Ball, and then I'll have this move up. And then in the fourth turn, it'll be Frost Ball, and it'll continue, and it'll continue up the um, process. But since this is since Frost Barrier uh, can only be used once every five turns, and I get crit twice, um, one in like turn one, and then a third time or second time in turn three. Um, it will not proc since it has a five delay timer. So let's um, let's go test this out. Um, I know a good place is in the ruins. So we'll go over here, go to the temple. We got a nice little dude we can fight here. So you see the initiated battle. You see the, your, H, your HP and their HP, and I just about killed this guy in one hit. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then down here you can see the text of how much damage you did and then stuff like that And then you have the statistics of every battle um, You can see what you did maximum damage how many turns you took how many hits you received um, Let's actually go Let's do a more challenging fight Probably gonna die, but we'll see what happens now you can also view the enemy and you can see that there's two right here. Let's go ahead and just t test it out. Wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> and... <sighs> so now we're going to be on turn three. Now you see right there, um, I'll, I probably won't be able to pause it, but you see I did a my snowball attack and it really didn't do that much damage it read like 50 damage but over here it did 30 that's because the enemy was not chilled when I hit them so that really reduced the effect of my attack um so yeah that's uh, your special discipline moves and everything and hopefully that helps out and also just a reminder don't be afraid to vary your attacks, you know. I'm just going pure frost, but you don't have to do pure anything. You can have swordsmanship and fire uh, dominance. You can have just about anything, any combination you want. You can even, although it, it would be very interesting, three di different disciplines on one character. I encourage you guys to try this out. Try different things. Um, I know I'm working on another character right now who's uh, mace fighting and holy discipline. So, anyways, again, hope this helped you out. Next tutorial, um, well, I'll think of something. So, <laughs> take it easy. Bye.